So this is what it's like, huh? This is what what's like? Being closed by Harvey Specter. <laughs> I, I, I don't resent it. It's a great meal, great table. Let's not pretend it's not self-serving. Hardman is back. Jessica doesn't want to go back to the kitchen. Jessica Pearson was never the housewife. You know where my office is, Harvey? 46. I've been knocked down three floors in five years on Jessica's watch. We have to look into that. I don't want a new office. I want respect. What you want is for someone to help you with Madison 25. You've done your homework. You are about to lose a huge client, Paul. I don't want to close you. Let me close him. No. The problem is Tom Claperidge, he's like you. He thinks he knows better than everyone. Truth is, he doesn't know his ass from a hole in the ground. He needs to declare bankruptcy, and he doesn't want to hear that. Well, let me keep him in the family in exchange for backing Jessica. Well, you close him. Then we'll talk. That's not so reassuring. You came to me. I didn't come to you. I'll see you on the first tee. No, you won't. Oh, oh. Uh, is this where you make your threat? I've had the carrot, now I get the stick. That's not my style. The person you're going to meet on the tee is Fred Couples. And just so we're clear, that's being closed by Harvey Specter. The city has history which we bury under glass pieces of shit. Madison 25 is different. It's amazing. It is. It's very impressive, Tom. But Paul thinks it's time to just shut all this down and send all these people home. Let's talk football. Peyton Manning goes down. You lose your first 13 games. You got to protect your assets and build for the future. You don't want to pay $28 million for a guy who may not play next year. So what do you do? You move on. My season isn't over, Harvey. You're 200 million in the red with a quarter billion due in two days. Madison 25 is going to be built. Madison 25 should be built, but the market's changed. Vacancies are up, rents are down, and you can't take out a loan against your future if the money's never going to flow. It's time to protect your franchise. Really? I should just skate all the hundreds of contractors and subcontractors that I've made financial commitments to? They should just wait in line with their hands held out, hoping for 50 cents on the dollar? They know how the business works. Look, I know that Paul feels I should protect myself, I should protect my family business, but I want to protect my family name. There's no shame in declaring bankruptcy, okay? It's a tool that will allow you to survive. Wanna well, know the kind of guy I am, Harvey? I'm the kind of guy that when the clock says the game's over, take a knee, that's when I throw a Hail Mary. Everybody throws a Hail Mary when they got nothing to lose. You got something to lose. I like long odds. Let's just say I won't declare bankruptcy. What are my other options? I have an idea. I love Tom. I love Madison 25, really. But I'm afraid if you look at the fine print, the terms of the loan are what they are, and what they aren't is subject to renegotiation. Are you kidding me? The terms of loans are adjusted all the time. And you can see he has the assets. What I see is that I'm going to have to give you a 50% haircut on that. That is not liquid. You're never going to be able to sell a minority partnership interest. And that, a monkey could tell you could never monetize that. And you know what else a monkey could tell you? You're about to ruin a property that will make you millions. I'm so sorry, gentlemen, but this is not 2007. We don't play that game anymore. The days of you high-flying people claiming you're richer than God when all you're really doing is moving assets around are over. Today, we're going to take a look up your skirt and see what you have. And I'm afraid you don't have much. If I wanted to sink his business, to keep his business, I could have done that myself. Hello, Paul. Make yourself at home. You made him think he could risk not just this project, but everything he owns on a personal guarantee. Are you crazy? What I am, Paul, is working my ass off to make your client happy. You think I haven't tried everything to keep his dream alive? The fact is, the bank is going to foreclose. Tom needs to be protected. And your plan is too big a risk. For you, yes, but not for Tom. And as I understand it, we work for him. <laughs> I work for him. You are working for me. I said he needed to declare bankruptcy, but no, you, you played it your way. Well, 
Jessica may give you free reign to do that. I can't imagine Hardman will. You know, Paul, Couples passed on a little tip for you. He said your game was weak because you were too cautious. I said it's not your game. It's who you are. Harvey, I may have been knocked down to the 46th floor, but bankruptcy is on the rise. My influence in this firm is not nothing. You got Tom to sign those papers. Is that a threat? I don't make threats. I just do what I do. 